Let's talk about food. Food is not the enemy. I used to think this way when I was 152 kilos. So we need to make better choices when it comes to food. I'll show you how you can still eat chocolate and chips and pizza and enjoy the food without feeling guilty. We are making a cherry sorbet. Yummy. So hopefully we've got some really good and these are recipes that um that I don't normally do, so I'm taking myself out of my comfort zone. And when we take ourselves out of our comfort zone, we discover new things. And that's when we open up. So don't be scared to, yeah, just step outside your comfort zone. If you're always cooking the same food, try something different because that's when you'll discover new flavors that you haven't had before. 400 to 500 grams of Pita cherries, now I just use the frozen cherries, some yogurt, some honey, some meat, some water, some lemon. That's about it, really. So, let's look at what we're doing right here. Let's move this forward. So, I'll get the relic a bit more closer and see exactly what we're going to do. Let's put everything into the blender. Good old holes, nothing goes in. Okay, I need to frost them a little bit more this time so they're softer. Then let's add some, about two teaspoons of water, tablespoons of water, yogurt. I use the Jolna Greek yogurt. Jeez, I think we have dishwasher. One, two, and three. Three heaps. Okay, it goes into one side. So I don't waste any more spoons. <laughs> now we need to add some honey. Okay, just a tablespoon. One big heap spoon. No. <laughs> we can have it afterwards. We may need it in case of me. Okay, let's put that to one side. And some lemon. Now, if your lemon is hard, what you need to do is, if it's hard, you need to massage it, right? I'm talking about the lemon. Okay, so massage it like so. Oh God, don't you just love lemon? This is lemon from our garden. And we need to squeeze that in to it as well. Excellent. So, making sure that we have the right ingredients. Cherry, sorbet, 400 grams of frozen pita cherries, two tablespoons of honey, one tablespoon of lemon, four tablespoons of vanilla yogurt, some water, and then we'll use the mint and the leftover cherries to dress it. Look at that. 
How convenient. We're making our own sorbet. All done. Put that into the fridge, into the freezer. You need at least an hour for that to get really hard. Okay, make sure it's all sealed. Then you have it. Don't need more ice cream. And here we go. We must add. So. Doesn't have to be perfect, and another scoop. And another scoop. There we go, that looks good enough for me. It might not be perfect, but it would all taste the same. Just tie that up. This looks nice and neat. Maybe we can uh, mess on this one today. Like so. There we go. That's as good as we're going to get it. Then what we are going to do is put some mint into the top. Let's find a pretty one. And there you have it. How sorbet. And what we do this for here? We put it back in here. And will I taste it? I sure will. Mmm. That's really, really nice. If you have any suggestions on any other recipes or foods that you want me to cook, please send me a message or make a comment down below and I will do my best to cook what you would like me to cook for you. So, once again, I help Women lose weight for the very last time. It's all about healthy living. It's all about adapting and falling in love with a lifestyle that you are going to adapt for the rest of your life. And that's how you lose weight for the very last time.